Um, <clears throat> yes. When, even when I was in medical school back in medieval times, um, we were told 100 plus your age over 90 or below was normal and you shouldn't lower it more than less than that because then the people would have side effects and symptoms and get dizzy and all the rest of it. Somehow over the years, as far as I can see without any actual evidence, they changed that to everybody needs to be 140 over 80, uh, not quite as low as, as you said. And I don't think there's any actual research showing that that's the variable that changes the people's uh, prognosis. Um, so I don't think that there is any case to be made that anything less than 100, 100 plus your age over 90 is, quote, normal. I, I would also say that uh, in cultures that have a lot of heart disease and strokes, um, they also do have this progressive elevation as we age, and cultures that seem to have not have this problem don't. So I can imagine that we actually have what we call common, or what we call normal is actually common, and it probably is better to not have an age-related increase of the blood pressure. So if you keep yourself in better shape and do all the things that I've talked about for blood pressure, uh, maybe you won't have that age-related increase. But there is no way that, that I would have treated anybody. I, I mean, I never used pharmaceutical drugs for treating blood pressure because you simply don't need to. Uh, but to get that, I never used 115 over 70 or 120 over 80 as a target range. Uh, there's, I don't think, anything behind that.